Hey y'all. So my name's Kia. I'm a first time mom. I'm nine months pregnant and I go in tomorrow to be induced. And I just wanted to show you guys like a video on what you could put in your baby's bag and also put in your hospital bag. Um, I'm going to start off with the baby bag, but first I just want to say, um, as a first time mom, I know a lot of people be wanting to be extra or not even extra, but, um, well, yeah, they want to be extra. Um, a lot of stuff that I see a lot of the first time moms get for their baby bag or hospital bag, it kind of seems too much to me. You're only going to be in the hospital for two days unless it's complications, but with a normal healthy birth delivery, um, you're only going to be there for like two days. So I didn't go overboard with packing anything. I don't have extra expensive stuff and all these fancy expensive gadgets and all that stuff. I just kind of packed what I will use on a daily basis with my child other than being in the hospital. So um, for one, the hospital provides almost everything that you'll need for your baby for the two days that you'll be staying there. So my baby bag is kind of just packed with, like I said, everyday things that I've I mean, I really won't be reaching in here at the hospital unless it's to put on the outfit that I brought from home because the hospital will also provide you with onesies and stuff. So we're just going to start off with my baby bag and then we're going to move to my hospital bag and yeah. Okay, so this is the baby bag that I got. Like I said, a lot of people go get expensive. You got some people that get designer bags and all that. Uh, people go get their baby initials. Um, monograms on the bag and stuff. I just kind of kept it simple. I did get the bag from Target. Um, yeah, I got the bag from Target. I could get it monogrammed down the line. I just don't feel like doing all of that. So, this is the bag that I got. It's from Target. It actually does have a lot of pockets. I'm gonna show y'all what I put in almost every pack, every pocket. So there is two pockets in the top. Um, what I have at the first pocket, okay, so the first pocket is pretty much, I just packed a blanket for him, which is going to be this gray blanket. I also got this from Target. It's just like a gray, fuzzy, comfortable blanket with his teddy bear. This is really for picture purposes, like I said, um, for the baby bag for the hospital. You're going to pack some things like a first day out outfit, a going home outfit, and little stuff like this to take pictures with, you know, make memories. So his room is elephant themed. So he has an elephant teddy bear that matches with this gray cover. Both came from Target. Um, another thing that's inside his bag, I have two bottles. Newborns, they don't really drink out of their own bottles when they first come out. The hospital provides you with bottles. So, like I said, everyday things that will be in his bag anyways, always pack bottles whenever you're about to go out. So, two newborn bottles um, from Phillips, Avent, whatever. Got these from Target as well. I just put two up in here just in case. Um... Like I said, y'all, this bag has a lot of pockets, but I don't have a lot to put in it because he's just going to the hospital for two days. I want to leave some space for the stuff that I take from the hospital because everything they give you at the hospital, you are more than welcome to take because it's on your insurance. They're going to charge you for it anyways. They're not going to reuse it. They're going to throw it away. So you really can just take it with you. So all the pampers and the extra milk bottles and stuff like that they give you, you want to make sure you have space. So you don't want to overpack. So that's what's in the first pocket. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's actually two pockets inside the first pocket, but I didn't use them. Hold on. Okay. The second pocket is where his clothes is going to be. I just packed him some sleep onesies um, like this. Got these from... I want to say this also was a gift from Target. Target or Walmart, it really doesn't. I don't know. There you all Got that from Target. Um, sleep onesies. You want to pack outfits. This is going to be his go home outfit. It's so cute. I love these little pants. It's 
The shirt says daddy sidekick. I am having a boy, by the way. But yeah, you just want to pack him like a go home outfit, some sleeping outfits, um, extra outfits for spit ups. And you want to also always have extra outfits for when you want to go three months down the line, you pack your baby bag. You always want to have extra outfits just in case he have um, throw up, diarrhea, all that type of crazy stuff. So yeah, you want to pack hats and sleep onesies. So that's pretty much what's in the second. Um, I think I am going to add more clothes because like I said, the normal stay for the hospital is two days, maybe three. That's normally what I see. But just in case there are any complications or you end up having to have a C-section or you already planned, scheduled for a C-section, you might, you might stay longer. So you want to pack more clothes just to be safe. So I am going to go add more clothes in this, um. Whenever I'm done with the video, you also want to pack socks, hats, mittens, stuff like that. Okay. The next pocket, um, it just has like his, not, it's not really a first aid kit. It's like a care kit, I guess. Um, it's like this. This is also a gift. I'm pretty sure it came from Target. Oh, the light. Ugh. Okay. So what's up in here is um, the nose suction for boogers, toothbrush for the tongue, for the like the white stuff on the tongue, nail clippers, thermometer. It has this little medicine thing, which I love. It's a smart thing to have. Um, you put the medicine in it and put the thing in their mouth so they can just suck it out. You don't have to fight with them. You know, if you are already a parent or you have younger siblings, then you already know how that is. Trying to get a baby to take medicine. Um, you have this brush thingy. Let me see. Did that help? No. Mm, can't even see it. Oh my God. I guess the light is too bright, but it's like a brush thing for the hair. It comes with a comb and also some nail filers nail follows so yeah that's all that's up in here that's this is what it came with you can always go in and add other stuff to it it has plenty of space this is um safety first brand if you guys want to go find that this is a great thing to have inside of the bag okay and i also have like a pacifier but the hospital will give you these so and another thing um, if you don't want your baby to suck pacifiers, let the hospital know as soon as your baby come out and they take their baby to like the, um, nursery, nursery area to not to give baby a pacifier. If you, if your child doesn't get a pacifier when it first comes out, it will never know what it is. So it will never look for it whenever it wants to be soothed. Um, you will just, you'll just do something else to kind of soothe your baby, but if you don't want your baby to suck a pacifier, just let your nurse know, you know, that you don't want your baby to suck a pacifier. Okay, so the second, third, whatever. Okay, so up in here, this is kind of where his, um, this is where his rash cream is at, diaper rash cream. Um, I have a mini hand sanitizer. Um, I have his soap. On his shampoo, Johnson & Johnson shampoo and Johnson & Johnson lotion. Like I said, I always have stuff like this on the go. And some Q-tip, ear Q-tips. I, I really don't know why I packed these, but they're for babies, so why not? But that's what's up inside of there. And I don't have anything in this pocket. Like I said, this bag has a lot of pockets but i didn't overpack i kind of wanted to leave some space so that i could take some stuff from the hospital so there is a lot of empty pockets or whatever um on this side right here this is where you could keep a bottle it has like the thermal thing in it so like to keep your bottle cold or to keep it warm so you don't go bad if you have like pre-made bottles and stuff like that bring some bottles and on this side is the white part 
put your wipes in here and then you can you can either hold this bag like this or it has backpack latches um yeah that's pretty much it for his baby bag so like i said um you have parents that go buy a lot of expensive stuff or um just a lot of expensive gadgets or stuff like that that's okay to buy whatever make you feel good especially as a first time parent you always want to get whatever make you feel good um i have i'm the oldest of like seven sisters they're young so i kind of know like what's useless and what's useful or i know the cheaper things to get that you don't have to go spend big bucks on so yeah that's what my baby bag is not like probably like the people you will see on instagram tiktok stuff like that um i just kept it simple simple it's a baby the baby not gonna know the price of it nine out of ten a lot of the expensive stuff the baby is not going to even want to use or you're not even going to think to use it so yeah oh um one more thing it's not in his bag yet but i am taking this with me it's a um welcome sign um my mom got this from tj maxx it's just like um you write the baby's name date weight and a height and take pictures with it you know stuff to make memories like i said she got this from tj maxx it comes with the pen and stuff other than that that's it for the baby bag. um if you guys have any like questions or suggestions y'all can leave that down there in the comments because i am open to any um opinion suggestions of what you guys think i should get or if you have a question or what whatever anything just leave it down in the comments so now we're going to move on to my hospital bag which is also simple I'm praying that I have a um, fast and healthy delivery so I won't be that long. I really don't want to be that long. So I'm hoping for just two days max or whatever, one day, two days. So we're just going to go to my bag, which is this. I ordered this bag from Sheen, Sheen, whatever. It's like just a little mini duffel bag from Sheen. Um, every every bag I looked at was like $50. I don't go nowhere. So I don't need to, like once once I leave the hospital, I probably would never pick this bag up again. So of course I was not about to go spend $50 on a bag. Um, I seen the cute mommy bags. I was so tempted to order one. I had um, a pink one and a black one in my cart. I didn't know which one I wanted. Um, but then I just thought about it and I just realized how that would have been a waste of $50 because once I left the hospital, I was not going to use it no more. So yeah, I just found this Sheen bag on Sheen. It was like $8. So yeah, I'm just going to show y'all what's up in here. And so we're going to start off with, we're going to start somewhere. So, um, okay. So basically my bag is like postpartum stuff. Other than clothes, it's going to be like stuff for postpartum. I'm a first time mom. I don't really know how postpartum goes. I know it's different for, for everyone. And you can ask people a million questions. But everyone's body is different. Everyone's delivery um, is different. Stuff like that. So you're never going to get like a 100% factual answer. So you just kind of want to just get a little bit of everything or what you think makes sense to get for what you're going to be going through as far as c-sections they have they have different stuff for c-sections and then they have different stuff for like the vaginal area if you're just going to do a vaginal birth my doctor told me that i'm not at risk for a c-section so i didn't go get anything for a c-section but when you go into labor things can change so you just want to just be mindful of that and yeah you just never know so um i'm not gonna lie as far as getting this stuff i did go off of tiktok instagram youtube um that's i can't say i did that but um i'm pretty sure i'm gonna need to use this anyways it's, it's like regular um menstrual stuff so i did get pads um i heard that you do bleed a lot after you have a baby so i didn't i didn't get like the thin pads i did go get really thick pads that come with the wing i forgot i think this is the always brand 
I'm pretty sure this is the always brand. But I just packed four of these. Mind you, the hospital will provide you with stuff. But like I said, based off of YouTube videos, based off of YouTube videos and um TikTok videos and stuff, um, you kind of want to get what you like already because what the hospital has might not suit you, might not feel comfortable enough for you. So when my period was coming on before I got pregnant, I personally always liked to wear um thick pads because I had like a heavy flow. So um this was comfortable for me. I didn't have to um I didn't have to feel like I was leaking or anything like that. So like I said, the hospital will provide you with stuff, but you also pack with your liking. So I have four of these. Okay. Next, um I did see this on someone's YouTube. I forgot her name. They're like um, pamper pads or something. I don't even know. The pack's somewhere around here. I have four of these pamper pad thingies. Let me show you. They look funny, but based on the video, I heard you. I heard that these will be your best friend, and these will give you the most comfort and um, make you feel comfortable and secure or whatever. So I did get these, four of these. They have padding and stuff in it. But what I was gonna do, I was gonna um, put one of these on, put a pad on, depending on my flow. Because like I said, everyone is different. I'm pretty sure the first two days, three days, um, my flow might be heavy. But like I said, I've asked around and everyone is different. Some people say they only bled for a week. And throughout that week, the beginning of the week, the flow is heavy, but once the end of the week came, it lightened up. So do what works best for you. I was gonna wear these, put a pad inside of it, and then put my underwear on top um, to just give me, to make me feel like, make me feel comfortable. I don't want to feel like I'm leaking or I can possibly leak through my clothes and stuff like that. So I do have four of these. Pack. the hospital do give you something like this but I wanted to get something that I wanted myself so yeah that's it for this pocket I'm going to go to the next pocket just going to show you guys what I've had so, so the next pocket is going to be like where I towel I think I put the towels the wash rags um, and my sleep clothes um, yeah so I packed the towel. Of course, the hospital is going to give you towels, but I rather use my own wash at home. I don't really want to use towels that other people have used, which is, I don't know, that's just me. I don't want to. I rather use my own smell of good towels. So yeah, I just have one towel pack. Um, I have a lot of, um, not, well, not a lot. I went about three nursing bras. Um, one came from Target. I don't know why I bought it from Target. $20 from Target versus getting two for $15 at Walmart. I don't know. But I got these from Walmart, these from Target. They're the same thing. Nursing bras, not the ones with the metal clip. I mean, the metal wire there just has the pad in it for comfort. Um, because I did hear that your breasts swell and also leak. So you just want to get you something comfortable. So, towel, bras, wash rags. Um, I have sleep pants, shirts, um, and my toothbrushes. Me and my boyfriend, toothbrush. Yeah, okay. So, that's about it for that pocket clothes. You want to, the hospital, you, of course, you want to get a hospital gown, but, um, of course, and you're going to deliver wearing a hospital gown. This is kind of just for after. I'm not going to keep wearing a hospital gown the whole two-day stay. So I did get my own comfortable clothing. You can get shorts, pants. I like shorts. I'm a very hot nature person. I hate being hot, but I'm always hot. So I got shorts. Um, and yeah, like I said, get whatever's comfortable for you. You don't have... I went out and bought this. If you are um, the type of person that has a lot of sleepwear at home you might have to go out and buy it if you got this stuff at home these wash rags towels i did not go buy i got them out of my closet so you do not have to go buy new stuff just because 
I bought new two brushes. It's about time that we change two brushes. We change every couple months, every two, three months. Or if I feel like we need to change two brushes, I go buy some. They're like two fifty at Dollar General. So yeah, two brushes. You don't have to buy no new two brushes. You don't have to go buy new deodorant, new lotion, new all the stuff that people make it seem like you should buy for a hospital bag. You do not have to. It's like a spin light bag. If you want to spin light at your friend house. Your boyfriend house, you're going to get some shit that you, I mean, excuse me. You're going to get some stuff that you already got at home. Not necessarily going to buy new everything. So, that's that's it for that part of it. I think we're almost done. Um, Over here is where I have my deodorant, toothpaste, bar soap. I don't want to use the hospital soap. Or whatever else and some vaseline for your lips i did hear that um your lips do be dry i can just imagine so i'm not even doing i'm just imagining how dry they can be so um i did get vaseline for my lips and also i put vaseline on my face stuff like that i just seen people pack a whole skincare routine um literally like i didn't see people pack the craziest things that i'm pretty sure once they got to that hospital they did not go digging that bag one time for that stuff so don't overpack unless it make you feel better but if you're like me i'm just simple you don't have to overpack just get your necessity okay so i think that was like the last but this one more pocket i don't know if i have anything in here or if it's even gonna open okay oh yeah underwear this is what my underwear is i did go to the store and buy new underwear like i said you got to, you're about to have a baby um your period whatever you're gonna have you don't want to go get your panties that you already have if you want to you can but me personally i'd like to leave my victoria's secret panties in the drawer and go get me some walmart panties i love my walmart panties in a way they're comfortable so I got six. I might end up buying more, but this is just what I got for now. Um, these came from Target, which you can get from Walmart, Dollar General. I don't know, y'all. Ever since I got pregnant and started going inside Target, I started getting everything from Target. Same thing at Walmart. You do not have to go to Target and spend all that extra money for little things like this. But I did. So, yep. Yeah, so okay so i showed you guys everything in my bag but it's one more thing that i want to show you guys that's real that i've seen a lot of moms recommend for a postpartum um so i just want to show you guys so this right here is called it's a brand called freedom freedom mom like this it comes in a big box it's a kit um you can get on their website they have stuff for c-sections um babies vaginal um postpartum recovery kits they have a lot of stuff on there i got the kit um because it's cheaper to get the kit versus going to order everything one by one of course so what comes inside this kit is a disposable postpartum underwear it comes with four pair instant ice maxi pads it comes with four pair um i don't even know how to say this word perineal Pulling pad liners. It comes with 24 witch hazel liners. Um, healing foam, witch hazel healing foam. And it comes with a storage caddy for to put on top of your toilet. Now, I also ordered this spray bottle, which I do not know what my boyfriend did with it. It also came with this kit. Um, it's like a, I think whenever you have a baby, um, after you have the baby, you don't really wipe. You kind of like pat off and rinse off after you have a baby um for like stitches and soreness you don't want to irritate your skin down there so instead of using the one that the hospital gives because like i said it's not that good you always want to go find something better for certain stuff that one you can hold upside down and spray and it comes out versus hassling with the bottle that the hospital give you or whatever now I did not open this because whenever um, I was checking out, I didn't order this. I actually went to Target. So, yes, Target sells this. You do not have to order it online, pay shipping fee and all that. You can go to Target and get the whole kit or you can get the individual things. I was lucky that they had the whole kit. 
so um what i was about to say oh yeah so when i was checking out the lady told me she gave me a heads up like um don't open the box or anything until it's time for you to use it because a lot of all um, moms go in thinking they're going to get a vaginal delivery and things change in the snap of a finger and you end up having to get c-section so of course if you get a c-section this stuff you're not going to need you're going to need something for your cut you're not going to need nothing for down there and they do sell stuff for c-section but of course this isn't a c-section kit so she just recommended me not to even open it until i need it at the hospital because if not i could just bring it back and get my money back so that does make sense so i'm not going to open it i'm just going to leave it in the box the box it's a big box but it's not that big it's 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 good so um let me move this in that one that's pretty much it um i am i am going to do a review on this because it, it actually looks pretty useful and good like this is a good postpartum kit so yeah y'all can look it up i'll leave the link down below for this and also for the spray bottle because i don't know what my boyfriend did with it so i'm i couldn't show you guys but it's gonna definitely be on the website and that's pretty much it like i said if you guys have any like questions or um any recommendations for me i am a first time mom so everything i showed you guys i'm probably missing some things or something like that so if, if i am y'all could just let me know even though i go in tomorrow to be induced i'm finally about to meet my baby i go in tomorrow at nine o'clock p.m hopefully he'll be out I go, today is wednesday i go in tomorrow thursday march 8th hopefully he's here march 9th yeah whatever anyway yeah so that's pretty much it for the video i showed you guys my bag my baby hospital bag what's going to be in it and also comment down below if this video was helpful because i hope i'm helping um someone especially a first time mom that might be overthinking on what to put in the bag because i was that mom that was overthinking on what i wanted to put in the bag what bag i wanted to buy but i had to come to my senses and realize like um everything isn't about the price or everything isn't about the price you just want to get what you can get and it's like go on with your life so like i said i hope this video helped you guys um and that's gonna be it for today don't forget to leave a comment down below don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe i will be posting more videos if you go down my page i am a hairstylist um, I just took a break from being pregnant, but I am, once I give birth to my bundle of joy, I am about to start back working. So be looking forward to, um, I am going to be doing an induction in the labor and delivery vlog. Um, I am going to start back doing sheen hauls, hairstyle, um, hairstyle vlogs, tutorials. Um, I am a makeup artist now, so you will be seeing makeup videos. So just a lot of everything down my um youtube channel so just subscribe if you into stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys have a safe pregnancy a safe delivery a healthy baby just hope everything go great for you guys and yeah bye